The desultory? The desultory plenipotentiary. Under her new contract, Stephanie Paz is swept into the Hollywood star-making machine. First, for intensified training in dramatics and diction. Plenty potentiaries. Interrogatory remarks. Interrogatory remarks. We're super erogatory. We're super erogatory. Very good. In Hollywood, glamour is a science. And Stephanie's features are analyzed by Perce Westmore, who has gilded the beauty of stars ranging from Greta Garbo to Doris Day. Now he gives the treatment to Stephanie Powers. For her appearance in an important new film, The Interns, produced by Robert Cohn. First, we have a problem. Uh, there's a section in the story where Stephanie has just gone through a very serious emotional crisis and it's affected her, and over a period of four oh, weeks, time has come by from the scene before. She hasn't slept at night. She's had a prop fight with her husband. We want to show and get some help, actually, out of for her face. So that freshness that she has, we have to counteract it somehow, so that, uh, how would you help us with that? Well, there's two ways. Keep her up. Yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> thank nights. you very much. Or, this is what we usually do, is to go in here with a shadow, which is a dark circle. I'll just touch this lightly here. And we do the same here. We might give her just a little feeling here in the corner of the mouth, which droops a little, so that we begin to get that feeling. Oh! It's happened. Oh, Lord! <laughs> Hollywood lives on fanfare, and Stephanie will spend days posing for publicity photographs so that the studio can introduce to the world a distinctive image of its new young personality. I've been called uncooperative because I won't go along with Hollywood's mania for plunging necklines. And a publicity agent got mad at me once for refusing to pose in tight shorts, riding a giant turtle. But that's not the image I want. Maybe I run the risk of having the studio say, well, who needs her? But I intend to run my own life and present the image that I think is right for me. Stephanie's reputation as a rebel, however, doesn't seem to hurt her career. For the first time in The Interns, the studio gives her a starring role. When I reported on the set for The Interns, I knew this would be the most important hurdle I ever faced. If I didn't do well, the studio would drop me, and I wasn't going to let that happen. It all hinged on my big scenes with James MacArthur. How many babies I'll deliver? Thousands. Oh, it's just marvelous, Lou. I tell you, one thing would make it perfect now. What? Will you marry me? Now? Oh, Lou. Oh, dear. I wish it were that simple. Oh, come on in here a minute. in Hawaii. They've accepted me for six months. Well, that's what I was trying to tell you, Lou. Look, don't look at me like that. Listen, here I am, 21, and I, I'm like an incubator baby who's never been... Well, I've never been allowed to burp without help. Oh. I'll always wonder what I've missed. Stephanie has made such an impression in the interns but now she is even loaned out to another company to appear with John Wayne and his son, Pat, in their picture, McClintock. Shoot him, Daddy. Shoot him at once. Well, why? My honor is at stake. Well, now, your honor. Absolutely. He impugned my honor. Impugned? What does that mean? Slander. He slandered my honor. He did? I said what I said, and I'll stand by it to the death. He admits it, see? Shoot him. Well, what is he admitting to? Why, he called me a... I won't even repeat the word. I didn't necessarily call you anything, but I said what I said, and I'll stand by it to the death. 
Well, just for the tally books, what did you say? I said that any girl who would permit a man to kiss her before they're formally engaged is a trollop. He said it again! Shoot him! Now, hold on. No, don't hold on. If you're my father, if you love me, you'll shoot him. Well, I'm your father, and I sure love you. So? In McClintock, Stephanie has given one of her best performances. And in a celebrating mood, she and Pat Wayne have a dinner date with Gig Young and his wife. It's a long ride, you know, and we're going like 60 and there's a barbed wire fence. I like to spend an evening with friends. But press agents are always trying to get me to go to parties, premieres, and nightclubs with actors I don't know, just so they can get my name in the gossip columns. But I won't do it. I was born in this town. I know it for what it is. And phony publicity doesn't mean a thing to me. Becoming public property is one price I won't pay for being an actress. The next day was my birthday, and here I am. Almost in spite of herself, Stephanie's career is picking up momentum. He's sought out by newspapers and columnists like Sidney Skolsky, whose headquarters is Hollywood's famed Schwab's drugstore. But in these interviews, she maintains a wall around her personal life. Her answers are candid, yet guarded. It's very funny. The last time I saw you, you had a lot of makeup on you. Now you have none of you. You look like a different person almost. It's good I knew I was meeting you or I wouldn't know you. Well, how come no makeup? Yeah, they like to cover up the freckles because they think it, um, I don't know, it destroys the... Uh, the clarity of the face in, on film, something like this. Didn't the funny. freckles didn't hurt Dara's day? No, I know. I keep telling them that, but they don't believe me. Uh, what type are you then, or do you think you are? You know, the girl next door or a glamour girl with the makeup? What, what do you want to be? At this time in my life and in my career, I think the parts that I can do most convincingly are girls more like myself. Well, what are you really like? Ah, uh, uh, it's a big secret. Would you like to wind up, you know, where you're so good that you're an inspiration to someone to become an actress, that they see you and they say, if she did it, I could do it. Remember Mercedes McCambridge winning the Academy Award? And she said, hello out there, look what happened to me. And she clutched the yeah, Oscar yeah. and she says, if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. Gee, I'd love to think that I was inspirational. Yes, I think I would. That would be good. So I walk a little too fast And I drive a little too fast And I'm reckless, it's true But what else can I do At the end of a love affair Hollywood has found that the recording business is a powerful medium for building a star's popularity with teenagers. And though she's never had a singing lesson, Stephanie is signed by Colpix Records. But in her characteristic fashion, she rules out a large part of the teenage market by refusing to sing rock and roll. If she's to be a success, she wants it on her own terms. I've now come to think of myself as an actress. And I know the higher you go, the greater the danger of being trapped by a desperate need for wealth, fame, and admiration. For me, acting is a job, a way to express myself, and a way to fulfill myself as a person. <laughs>